hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm finally filming a video for us dry skin girls i feel like searching youtube you look up foundation routines and you just see how people other people do their makeup and i feel like i've never really come across any people who have done a video for drier skin girls i always see videos on like matte foundations and oily skin girls and my skin is especially dry in the winter time my skin especially needs attention because that's when my skin is the driest so i kind of just wanted to dedicate a video to us girls who have dry skin i want to show you guys what i do to keep my skin hydrated and feeling nice and lovely and just hydrated all throughout the year the first thing oh and this is going to be a talk through video you know usually i just speed through but today i'm actually going to be talking to you guys so the first thing that i do is i wash my face and i use the purity made simple one step facial cleanser so i basically use that to wash my face um it doesn't say anything about basically that it's for oily skin or anything that's like one, one of my number one tips i don't go for matte foundations or anything that says for oily skin because of course that's basically catering to the girls who have oil skin or oily skin and not girls with dry skin so that's the first thing that i do and usually after washing my face it feels really really dry and if you guys could see right now like my nose literally gets like white patches all over because my skin is so dry and it just feels so tense and just ugh. and the first thing that i do before i even apply my foundation is spray my face with the mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and on the side it says skin types for all it's basically like a moisturizing mist. It says once you've tried rejuvenating facial spray, you won't want to be without it. Use it to set makeup, soothe your skin, and dehydrating conditions. Or to give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. Lightly mist over face and neck as needed. So, it's clearly to hydrate your skin. So that's the first thing that I do, which I'm going to do right now. and it feels so good like on my face being so dry before i sprayed this this just whew, makes my skin feel like it's coming back to life and then directly after i spray my face i don't even let it dry or anything i go directly in with the cetaphil age every age every day oh no it says a every age every stage every day and this is what it looks like it's a big tub um it says for dry sensitive skin intense moisture for long lasting hydration and it's fragrance free <clears throat> so i go on i go in directly to my nose because that feels like it's the driest part of my face and then i just apply a generous amount over the rest of my face and I rub in circular motions because this is known to prevent wrinkles instead of dragging your face down. So I push my skin up instead of pulling down because that's what makes your skin wrinkle. So I apply that on my forehead, even like a little bit over my eyes. And I just let this get pushed into my skin until I feel it getting a little tacky and I let that sit for a second and I let it just moisturize my face and do its job and it just feels so good and so rejuvenating my skin is definitely lighter than what it is in the summer so I've been mixing up two different foundations and I personally personally love these so much together the first one is the Maybelline fit me in 330 talk wait no i'm lying that's not that's a that's a, that's a different cat from a different one that's from my um summer foundation fit me but i ran out of that one and i lost the lid to this one so i put it on here but this one is in 310 sun beige and it says 
it's for normal to dry skin because this is the dewy and smooth one i use the l'oreal true match super blendable makeup foundation and this one doesn't say anything about being for normal to dry skin but even without the fit me being mixed in with it i love it just on its own it's more of a full coverage than this one which is why i mix them together especially this one's a little bit darker and like a red undertone and this one is like a little bit of a pink yellowish undertone the two of them together match my skin well is what i found so that's why i mix them together so before i even go into that i always spray my face again because by that time i feel like my skin is dried up again not necessarily like i, I feel like my skin is like the sahara desert but i just feel like just spraying this before makes my foundation glide on more smooth because if you know that your skin is dry you will come to realize that if you don't put a moisturizer on or some type of some type of spray then when you're applying your foundation if your skin is as dry as mine it does come out patchy i'll go in with my concoction and i'll just swipe it all along my face like so i literally do this routine whenever i'm wearing makeup i just love it so much and i just like that a little bit on my forehead because usually whatever is left from my beauty blender i'll just blend over my forehead because my forehead is kind of small and another trick that i do important key major key beauty blender i always make sure that my beauty blender is fresh and clean before i do my makeup that's number one rinse it out with cold water that is important when you wash your face people say that you first touch your face up with hot water or warm water because that opens up your pores which is true that's what you want to use to get all the nutrients and natural oils back into your face whenever you are washing your face but they always say to actually rinse your face off of whatever product that you're using with cold water so what I do is I rinse my beauty blender with cold water because that is going to close up my pores in a sense after I just put all my moisturizer in and you know sprayed my face and it feels so much more hydrating on my skin when I use a cold beauty blender. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan and this one also doesn't say anything about being for a specific skin type but i'm pretty sure a lot of us can attest to that this is a really good concealer and then on top of that to make it just a little bit brighter i'll use the maybelline fit me um uh, concealer stick in deep font and i'll just put that over top Just a little bit. Let me use my Morphe G2 brush to blend that in. Ooh, let me go a little bit. And what some people even do when they do this step, they'll even respray their face. But I'm not gonna do that. I don't spray my face again until the last step and I don't put any excess over my lip because if you guys seen in the beginning of this video I break out around my lip area <clears throat> so I just give a little bit of extra attention to that area of my face and then I'll just go in with the tip of the beauty blender and blend out those edges using just a little bit of the leftover foundation from the butt of my beauty blender towards the ends and around this area where my temples are to blend it out as well when i tell you this cold beauty blender underneath of my eyes oh my gosh 
because it feels so nice. So for powders, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and then the Sacha Buttercup Powder in Buttercup. So if you can't tell, this is a yellow tone and then this is, like it says, a translucent powder. So my biggest fear is flashback. So I try not to use too much of the Sacha Buttercup. And even though sometimes I have a love-hate relationship with it, sometimes I won't get flashback with it. And then sometimes it'll be like, uh -huh, you thought. So I basically mix the two of them together. So that way I'm not too white, but I'm not too orange. And I'll just mix them together in one of the lids. It doesn't really matter. Dip it in with my Beauty Blender. And I'll take it and I'll just press it in like so and I'll leave it there for a second while I go to the other side and then I'll go down my nose like so and on my chin basically all the points of my face where I highlight it and I'll leave it like that for a few seconds. I don't want it to sit there too long because I don't need too much powder to make my skin mattified after having all of that greasy looking foundation. So I'll just start blending it in and even spreading it out because I set the rest of my face with powder too after this step. So I'll just press it in with the beauty blender as if I'm blending in my concealer. And just press, press, press. You don't want to swipe it away because that's what that's what makes your foundation look quick. Uh, this is what makes your foundation look cakey when you're swiping away the powders because you're just basically keeping it on the base of your face. You're not pressing it in, so that way your skin soaks it up. And then I'll take a big fluffy fluffy brush. My, I just don't want to talk today. I don't, I don't understand. And I'll just dip it in. Tap it and I'll just tap and dust along the rest of my face just to set those areas. After I set the rest of my face and I'll go over my eye and I'll pat that in okay I suck at contouring just to keep it a hundred percent don't come at me um what helps me is I take the powder and I suck in my cheeks like so. You find your, nat your natural contour of your face. And I take the Beauty Blender with some powder on it. And I'll just, as if I'm cleaning up a contour that I already created. Like, like you will probably see most people do. They'll do their contour first and then clean it up. But I usually do the powder first because that makes me get a more precise contour without having the shadow of what was already there underneath of the powder once you put it on top so this is just what I do like so I feel I don't know it's like my theory that since I have dry skin that's why my contour always looks busted so don't come at me please so now I take a contouring brush right now I've been using the Morphe this is a part of the rose gold collection that they just came out with and I just tried this palette yesterday it's called all about glow glam chick bronzing palette and for some reason I feel like when I take pictures my contour isn't always as orange toned or as popping as I want it to be and this one I feel like gave me a pretty nice orange tone on my skin which I liked so I'm just going to use that today 
and I just brush it lightly above where I put the powder. And I bring it up to where my temples are. Okay, like so. And then I take it on my hairline. Don't worry y'all, I'm gonna blend it out. Trust me, I got y'all. And then a little bit under my lip. If you know me, you know that my nose is one of my insecurities. So I don't even pay it any attention, but I'm gonna contour a little bit today because it's looking kind of flat. And I'm just taking any generic little tiny brush to get into those crevices. And it looks really dark, so I'm going to blend it out. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. Don't worry. And I don't like leaving this powder on too long, so I'm definitely going to get to that after I'm done blending out this thing on my nose that I didn't even want to do. But hopefully it does me some justice when I'm snapchatting, you know? I like I got two big lines on my face. Take some more powder. And just clean up the sides. Like so. Because girl, I just played myself when I did that. I take my Real Techniques buffing brush. And I just dust upwards up into my contour because if I brush downwards then that's just going to make this part of my face look a little bit too light. So I like going circular motions but dusting upwards at the same time. And the key to dewy skin or dry skin. Highlighting the Morphe M5 Oh, one. Look at this brush, y'all. Look at this. It's just perfection. I'm going in with the Becca Jaclyn Hill. What's this one? Champagne Collection Face Palette. And I'm taking a little bit of both of the highlighting colors, which is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. Look at that, y'all. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my brow bone. Just the slightest bit. And then a little bit on my nose. I don't like looking like Rudolph with my nose highlight, so I try to stray away. And I don't really do the Cupid's bow on my lip because... My top lip isn't that defined and it makes me feel a little bit insecure, like my nose. And I'm just going to dust away and push in that powder into my nose to simmer it down a little bit. And by this time I usually go in with my brow pencil again. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in granite and I kind of just touch up my brows because by the time you go over them with your foundation if you're like me and you do them before your foundation they kind of you know get lost in the sauce it's all good in the hood so now to lock everything in place before i even do my mascara i go back in with the mario badescu rose facial spray and i spray all over my face just to pull out all of that powder and just to make my face look more natural and seamless and it just gives that extra bam 
I'm hydrated all over again. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I don't got crocodile skin no more. And it's just like... Oh, it's like the angels just singing to your face after you're done beating it. Okay, anyway, so I'm just gonna spray it a couple more times. T, T zone, I guess, application method like this. And then I'll just go around in a circle. Because you know, your highlight gotta be booming. So after that settles in, I'll, after it starts drying up a little bit, I'll take a little bit more of my highlighter and I will highlight to the golds. Okay. So last but not least, I'm going to take some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Sun Dip. I'm going to kill you. Okay. And I'm going to take, what's this color? Bronzed. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones a little bit more. That's a nice gift. See that? I need that. Oh shit. That's why I spray Snoopy in the face with it. Ooh. One more time. On just on your cheekbones. Look at that. Okay. I tried to do this video before he got here and now he's just being a butthole. So yeah. I put on my mascara and now it's all over the face, all over my eyelids, but it's okay. Do it the ratchet way. Like this. Ratchet. To make my lips look glowy and moisturized, I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss and Praline, my favorite lip gloss. Cause it's basically my lip color. I'm gonna take this Artistry lip gloss in the color Pink Suede. Mix it in, it's like a nude. This is the completed look. I hope that this really helps you guys and that your skin is just feeling so moisturized and beautiful and youthful. This is what I do basically every day for my makeup routine, but it really does make my skin feel extra hydrated and moisturized and I just love doing this routine for my skin and I hope that it helps you guys. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and yeah. I love you guys. Bye. No, back up. Steve is being annoying. Leave me alone, please. Can I record the ending of my okay, video? Okay.